Okay, so we're going to solve another right triangle problem. In this case, the problem to solve this problem, we will need to use two different right triangles. This time we're going to jump right into the problem. So what I would like you to do is stop, pause the screencast, read the problem carefully, and you can see the diagram has got some setup there. Try to determine exactly what it is they're asking for, and try to see if you can set up as much information as you can about two different right triangles in the diagram. Remember that the main objective here is to determine the distance from the point A to the point B, which is this distance here, which is not a side of a right triangle, it's part of a side of a right triangle. So see what you can do to set this problem up and come back and we'll look at the next next screen. Okay, hopefully you've got a good understanding of the problem now and what we're asking for. And one important thing of course is the existence of that right angle. And what we're going to do again is introduce a little extra notation and you should be very willing to do this. Label things that you know you're going to need within solving a problem. We'll label that as point C. The other thing we're going to do is look at these angles here which we'll label as theta and this angle here which we'll label as phi. And the reason we're doing that is the angle 54.2 as it's set up is not part of a right triangle but angle theta is. It's part of the right triangle BCP. And phi is also part of the right triangle. In particular, the two right triangles we're going to use are indeed triangle BCP. Angle C is 90 degrees. And again, you can see if we use these three points, that's a right triangle. And within that right triangle, we have the angle theta. Uh, what we would like is the measure of the angle theta, and we do have enough information to get that. In particular, if we take the angle of 54.2 degrees and add theta, the result is 90 degrees. You can see that that forms the entire right angle. So we solve that equation for theta. We subtract 54.2 from both sides of the equation. And the result for that 